always looking for some way of encouraging people to come back to flying and what better way than building a Spitfire that people could fly. Right from the outset I realised that I had to build a Spitfire in the, in the true vein of the Spitfire. However, we, the, the one thing I didn't want to do was make it so expensive like an original one is now three million dollars or plus. I wanted to make it affordable for myself and, and of course to, to uh, make it so that it was more enjoyable to fly. So I came in and then he talked to me about the Spitfire project and I was completely hooked from that moment on. A lot of people think uh, it's wood or fiberglass, it's not. It, it, it's the uh, part of my concept was to build it again to be, it had to be a Spitfire. There were three critical things, uh, cost effective, it had to be real and had to be flyable like the original. It, it had to be the same. And we've had a lot of test pilots and very acclaimed pilots, aerobatic pilots, fly the Spitfire and they all say it's just so uncanny like the original. But the big thing was that I built it out of aluminium or aluminium as the Americans say. So it, it's not wood or fiberglass. It, it is built out of the original stuff that Mitchell originally penned. When Paul told me I needed to go on a riveting course, it wasn't quite what I had in mind. So I've had to learn how to rivet. I have now used a drill. I now will know what a Clico is and how to put one in and remove one. So what I'm doing here is making a lot of noise, but I'm uh, putting little dimples into the uh, surface so that the rivets we use, which are countersink rivets, will sit flush. So it just feels a little better. So, it's only 15,000 of these to do, so you know. <laughs> The Spitfire project has got me back into flying because I'd gotten out of it um, just through sort of uh, just having other sort of family commitments, that kind of thing. So uh, um, reading about this project really got me fired up and wanted to get back into aviation again. So um, that's how I've become involved. Alex said to me that the greatest thing for him in, in a way was that we're building uh, the Spitfire to keep the, the, uh, the Spitfire immortal. In fact, he said it makes it immortal. He said it's great to go on. The fact that they people died in it and people like himself worked on them, that, that, that it doesn't just vanish away. Because over time, the originals are going to get too expensive to operate. It's almost like a dream come true. I've always wanted to fly a Spitfire. I've always been um, a big Spitfire fanatic. Uh, having made loads of them when I was a kid, airfix ones, that kind of thing. And it's all just, it's beginning to come together and you can see that the aeroplane's beginning to come together and my absolute passion will be about flying it. And uh, of course having the name Supermarine, it carries a lot of responsibility that it's done properly and uh, that's one thing I've tried to do is, is make sure it is a Spitfire and that the name isn't tarnished. Uh, I've at no time ever said that I'm building an original, you know, this is uh, purely something that started out that I wanted to fly, but it, it's grown well beyond that these days.